Okay. Here um, we have an RL circuit on the DC voltage. So the switch has been position one for a long time. So before T equal to here. So T for T less than zero for a long, long time. This is the circuit that I have. Is in position one, so and then turn it on. So this is open, and the uh, con conduct. Uh, sorry, uh, the inductor, as you know, in the steady state, uh, it will be short circuit. So the short circuit here, yeah. and then the Six. Okay, very good. And this is plus or minus V zero. So eventually, we will now find the V zero T for T greater than or equal to zero. So for T less than zero, this is the circuit that we have. So let's look at the um, voltage and also the current here. So let me call this I zero as well. I zero. And uh, we have V zero at again. I put zero minus just before the switch. So what is that? We want to find out oh, this one and also this. Okay, so that's a simple circuit. Um. So the, this is the voltage, so potentially it could be a voltage division to find this, but you have to just be careful that these two resistors are in um, parallel. So first find the equivalent of this, so 30 times 6 divided by 30 plus 6. That's 36, uh, 6, 30 divided by 6, 5. So we have the five ohm, then that five ohm is in series with 12 and 13. So totally the equal resistance of the whole circuit would be 13 plus 12 plus five, which is 30. Okay, very good. So 90 volt across a 30 ohm volt. Um, and uh, <clears throat> by the way, we are interested in V0. So let's uh, basically we have this 5 all the booklet across that is V0, and then we have this 13 plus 12, which is 25, and then we have this 90. Okay, so V0 is a voltage division. V0 is a voltage division. V0 is 5 divided by 5 plus 25 times 90 and 15. Okay, so therefore V0 before the switching is 15 volts. And now uh, how about the I0? So I have the V0 divided by six. So I0, just before the switching, is the voltage divided by six ohm. Voltage div uh, divided by six ohm. Um, Two point five amp. Okay, so this is the amount of the voltage and current. And uh, the good thing is that this current is actually the current that is going through the inductor, right? So after we do the switching, that would be the initial the current initial current for, for the inductor. Okay, very good. So at t equal to zero, we do the switching. So therefore, now the switch will now be on. 
position two here, just gonna go here. So that is the circuit that we are dealing with. Given that I also have initial current here, zero minus, and which is equal to the current also zero plus. And I guess we got the 2.5 amp from right. Very good. So this is a circuit. Uh, let me plot, plot it um, nicely down. So T, I uh, would say greater I go to zero, then I have eight or twelve or thirty or inductor. So thirty six milli Henry. Uh, and given that again the initial current is 2.5 amp. So now this circuit, as you see, there is no source anymore, it's just the initial current, so that's gonna be a natural response. So we um, therefore um if I find, if I find the voltage or current or any other basically variable is gonna be natural response. Um, now let's look at the therefore um, the current here. The I of the inductor T is the initial current. So this is the formula for the natural response of an inductor, remember? So you have the initial times E minus T over T. Okay, and the top is N over R equals. Okay, so I also need to mention if you wanna go from the general formula, it's totally fine, but just um, note that because there's no voltage source here anymore, what would be the what would be the I infinity? So if somebody wanna do that, like if you wanna go with the general formula, if you wanna know what's the I infinity. At infinity, anyway, this is gonna be short circuit and there's no voltage, right? So at a steady state, the I would be anyway zero, the V would be anyway zero, okay? So if you put the also general formula, because these are zero, you will just end up with the, the initial times E minus T over tau, okay? So if you if you are doing that and you recognize as a natural response, just go with the initial times E minus E to the power of negative T over tau, or not, if you all prefer to go always go with the general formula, that's also totally fine. You just calculate them and you, for this case, general, it's a natural response. There's no source, independent source here, basically. So you get zero. Okay. So I've, almost we are done. Um, I have this as 2.5. The only thing that I don't have, I, I need to calculate is tau. L, I have L, but I need to find the R equivalent. That is basically the, the resistance that this uh, inductor sees. Okay, so if we're here, if this is terminal A and B, what does this um, inductor sees as far as resistance? Okay, so as you see, um, basically eight and 12 are in series. So that's like a 20 ohm. Then that 20 ohm is in parallel with 30 ohm. And then amount of that is in series with six ohm. So there was a 30 ohm, and then there was a 12 plus eight, which is 20. And then here we have a six ohm. And this is where my inductor was, right? So these two are in parallel. 20 times 30 divided by 20 plus 30. Um, so, oh, 
But then the 12 ohm is in series with 6 ohm. So therefore, R equivalent is 12 plus 6, which is 80. So everybody sees that. If I put an equivalent of 12 ohm here, that 12 is in series with 6. Right? This and this. And it's series. Okay, very good. Sorry for the messy writing. But okay, this is R equivalent. So therefore the tau would be L over R, which is 36 millihenry divided by 18 O, which is two millisecond. Remember the time constant, the unit for that is uh, time. It's a second, two millisecond. Um, so therefore, my response is put here two millisecond. Mm -hmm. Very My CRT 2.5 E minus T over 2 milli, which is also 2.5 E 12 minus. If you just in 1 over 2 M is uh, 1000 divided by 500 minus 500. T greater than equal to C. So this is our solution. Oh, oh, by the way, they want V0. Okay, I found I0. Okay, so they're not done. Um, but that's fine. This is I0, which we found. Let's do the V0. So V0, T is just R times I, six times I0, T, T greater than equal to zero. And um, I had I zero, so I just multiplied by six. So therefore, the zero T is um, six times that. Six times two and a half E six times two point five E minus five hundred T greater equal to zero. 